Blizzard just dropped the latest patch with the training dummy. And sadly, they... <laughs> I mean, Blizzard, come on. How could you fail that hard again? It's a training dummy. That's not the only thing we've gotten. We also got the Paragon refund button. Let me tell you what they messed up, but also how we can still use things. The training dummy can be found in Kjovica. And that is the training grounds right here. K100 dungeon next to the statue. You just walk up and you get in. And the biggest problem right now is that there is no DPS leaderboard damage meter, nothing. So the only thing you can do here is you get your stash, you can pull out any item you want. You got the training dummy configuration. So you can go for a normal one, use you some, then you can put them up to multiple training dummies. You can make them elite or boss training dummies. I usually train with boss training dummies because they have just the most HP and then you can go for single or multiple. Now, the biggest problem is that I can do all my skills, right? I can do my cool stuff and I can see like all my damage, but how how am I gonna know now if this was better than if I'm going to play instead of T-Bald's Will, the Blood Moon Breaches? Because the Blood Moon Breaches, they give me 70% overpower multiplicative. T-Bald's Will gives me 40%. And now I, I'll, I can do the same, right? I can pull things together. And yes, they also trigger your blood orbs and all that kind of stuff. So they're all there, right? And now I do see the damage numbers and I could record this and play this back in very slow to kind of see like, yeah. But can you tell me, was this now more DPS? Did I do more damage per second than, than before? No. Like, hello? Is, did you not test this? My one, did you not test this, Blizzard? Now there's one thing we can test here at least, I guess. And that's very useful with the Paragon refund because right now I could press refund all here. It would cost me 5 million, which is nothing because gold is going in like crazy. Well done on that one, Blizzard. Tree of Whispers gives you gold like crazy. You could get all the points back to just test different configurations. I could also throw out some glyphs to see if I drop higher crits, higher base damage. And I think that's kind of the only thing you can really do with these training dummies at this point to find out... How can I max the crit damage output? Because for me right now, I'm playing Bloodlands or Blood Surge. So I'm trying to do the maximum amount of overpower damage. 3,800% overpower. We get like 30% crit. So what I'm trying to figure out is how high can I crit? So I could activate my thing for maximum crit. I could do Corpse Tendrils to enhance this, right? And I could see how, how high are my crits. 2 million... Uh, Person, don't forget that. Try to three million. So you like, you know, we, we get we get some some few million crits here together, right? Maybe maybe there should have also been an endless essence mode so I could just test things. Four million, five million. Okay, so we, we have seen five million, right? And then and then we could go back and just now slap on T-Bolt's will or Blood Moon Breaches and some other items. And then you could essentially try to find out, am I actually doing higher crits right and that's also the last thing i can kind of really find out is 1 million 6, 6 million so i haven't seen a 6 million before 6.7 million so technically i guess i'm doing 7.8 million 8.5 million okay that that's the highest i've ever seen so now i knew that this from a mere damage output would be the potential highest in total but what i wouldn't know is am i just doing more damage per minute. But I mean, if I'm fighting a boss in a nightmare dungeon and I'm going to have to lay waste to him for 30 seconds, I want to know how much more damage I deal in 30 seconds and not what technically my highest crit is. Highest crit is useful against Lilith because you only have short windows of damage, right? Like until she flies up, you want to do and just burst her away. But seriously, is, is this it again? A feature not tested by the devs? Or, or doesn't anyone talk to gamers? This could have been fixed by simply asking Voody. Asking Racks and Tracks. Goddamn, ask me. Seriously, I, I, I'm not the biggest Diablo community 
super I've been I haven't been here for 10 years but there are people that have been doing nothing else but Diablo for the past 10 years if you ask any one of them they would have said put in a DPS meter the, the minimal thing a DPS meter now not everything is doom and gloom because the Paragon change is quite amazing to be honest but also brings me in a dilemma to a degree Good thing I can right now just reset everything and I wanted to play, for example, the Sever Summoner to see how good it is and if Sever Summoner can actually kill Uber Lilith and do a tier 100 dungeon. The problem here being that I've killed Uber Lilith now 20 times with different builds and the only thing I do currently gaming wise is Helltides to get my living steel so I can kill Gregor the Gavanic Saint. And I get more shards of agony. And I can do Duriel. My, my gear is more or less good. I mean, I could get a little bit better rings. Sure, this is a 780 ring, but I have actually not found a better ring yet. I could, if I'm lucky, drop a better roll Litless Wall. I recently got a max roll T Bolt's Will. But what am I farming it for? This is kind of like the one thing that still stands and is. The problem of Diablo 4, I've gotten the character to level 100 and now I could min max. But what am I min maxing for? I killed Uber Lilith in 60, 70 seconds with a build. So now I could try to kill her in 50, 40 seconds. I could get grandfather and try to get the highest million crit possible. What is left for me personally, I mean, as a creator, I can keep creating different builds so you have more fun leveling so you can experience the necromancer from all angles i can make builds with every single unique so we just figure out is the black river good can i make something with a bloodless scream and all these things are going to happen yes but if i'm just looking through this as the the normal player the the man the myth the legend that just beat the game and is done you're still 100 and done so what's left for me is now to leave the game and uninstall no to make a new character. I mean, that would be the only thing that I kind of have left in this season now. To make a Lightning Ball Sork, Infinite Combo Point Rogue, Barbarian Upheaval 400 million because I want to see it myself, or do an Auto Attack Druid with the Vampiric Powers. But that's currently the Blizzard gameplay loop. That's the thing, right? You get to 100. This time with the uniques, which is kind of cool because I now have all the uber uniques. But as soon as you're 100, I mean, you could like, this is my eternal 100. Then we kind of stopped playing. This was my multiple necros because we level multiple necros. But that's my my other seasonal necro, also 100 and a sorg. But once you're kind of like 100, and yes, these, these are all necros. <laughs> you, you're one and done. And then you move on to another class. That will maybe change in season three, four, or five that we get an actual end game i do like the new uber boss and i think they're step in the right direction but we kind of need something to to do now infinite paragon points uber tier 100s i mean something above tier 100 why is that the pinnacle why can't i after beating tier 100 do a 101 102 103 104 105 or you could be introducing a roguelite gauntlet as well where you start and you do as many nightmare dungeons in a row as possible until you fail and can like do some passive buff system. I don't know. You see, there there is ways, there is things you could do and we could whip out. What endgame would you be excited for looking forward to? Now, if you want some builds to try out with these training dummies and the Paragon board reset, how about the best bluster possible? Or the Tempest Storm that just zooms through everything?